Hey, hey, y'all. Welcome back. Welcome back to Terrace and We to Row. This is your girl, Lottie. Hey, y'all. Hey. With uh, another channeled messages. Y'all, yo, I just got to jump right into it. Let me tell y'all what happened to me. Uh, went to the gas station. You know I ain't supposed to be, you know, this little bait thing, whatever. Right? You know. So I need a little pot thing to go in it. Go to the gas station, get one, look at the price that's on the counter, and uh, Marcus decides to charge me. Well, he rings it up, and it's like $10 more than what's on the posted price. So I say, yo, Marcus, yeah, that's not what that say right there for the four pack. It say this price, and you charging me $10 more. Like, that's not right. Oh, well, I can't do nothing about it. That's how it rings up. I said, uh... Marcus, no. You're just going to charge me more than what you have it posted? Like, your shirt say assistant manager. Like, you can't just change the price and fix it because that's what's on your wall. You know. Oh, well, I have no authority. I have no authority to do that. We literally go round and round. So, I'm like, give me the other one then. Give me the four, the two pack. That's like six ninety nine. Now, here, get this. Two pack is posted for six ninety nine. The four pack is twenty eight ninety nine. What? Whose math is that, Marty? No. Which makes sense if the two pack is four ninety nine and a four pack is now eighteen ninety nine. You get a discount for being slightly under. You know, you buy more, you pay a little bit less. Makes sense. That's reasonable. Yeah, no, Marty. One to be like, uh, no, Marcus, Marty, whatever. I think his name is Marcus. I called him Marty the whole time. He pissed me off. I was mad. Anyway, so here comes the this lady walk up and she goes, uh, no, how much are they coming up? She was like, no, you got to give her the price that's on the, on the wall there. And I look at her and she's got on the same uniform as old boy. And he was like, uh, and goes in there. Well, actually, we kind of go back and forth because, again, yeah, we looked at the, like, I'm like, I, pr I shot price per unit. Like, I know how to do math, and I can understand that this math ain't math, and you trying to charge me a whole $10 extra than more of what's on your price posted thing, and you not even treating me fairly by changing the price to what you have on your wall. I don't care that your system is wrong. Fix it. You, you say assistant manager on your shirt. You know, Marcus, Marty, whoever decided that he was not, his name was Marcus, Spears says. Yes, Marcus decided that he was not going to until old girl came up and told him that he had to give me the posted price. But we literally stood there for like a good three minutes going back and forth about this thing. And I was fixed like, no, you are not going to treat me unfairly and that doesn't make any sense. I'm going to get my product, but I'm going to get the best deal for me. And I don't, it doesn't matter to me how many people in your line. If you want to settle this, I mean, then he ends up, long story short, he ends up changing the price after he told me he didn't have the authority to do so. He couldn't override it. Oh, no. He couldn't do that. He told me. But when old girl told him to do it, white chick, unfortunately, he's a white guy, I'm black, and I could, didn't want it to be no race thing, but that's how it felt. It was absolutely racist. Because if she hadn't have told him to change that price, he would not have done it. And I either would have got something that wasn't worth the value of the money. He would have overcharged me either way. He was going to get me. And then she changed him, told him to change it. And then he did. I was like, oh, well, thank you so much, Marty, for being so collaborative. We could have resolved that. Like, we could, we could have saved this whole conversation had you just done that in the beginning. Like I asked. Like, dude, Really? Oh, I was so irritated. It just, you know, and then, get this. I come back, get home, got my product, and spent my money irritated, mad for something that I'm not even supposed to have. And then, can't find this part. So I just went and bought this. Argue with old boy to spend my money to get that and can't find this part. Now riddle me that. How did I lose it? I have no idea how I lost it. And then I had to go back to the gas station to buy another one. And guess who I had to go buy it from? Marty. Yeah, we were at a whole impasse right there. It was either, okay, I'm going to not freaking get it. Or I'm going to have to go deal with this dude. And I even said to him in a snotty way. 
uh, that's why I don't like being upset because I lose stuff. Like me being upset, well, that was, you know, I responded to him. I got upset. I was bothered by the fact that he was not treating me fairly. Right. But I wouldn't have been in that scenario had I not been buying something that I'm not supposed to have in the first place. So I paid a lot for it. Not only did I lose it, spend my money and get irritated. It was ridiculous. So now I feel this. And you know, yeah. So I said, I'm going to just come on and pull cards on myself right now. Because I want to release this energy. And let's see what I am feeling and thinking about on the inside of me. Because I know for sure I need to, you know, deal with the issue of why I'm still smoking. And just be diligent and quitting if that be the case. Because, again, I have to release the facade. Yeah. Yeah. Because I do feel guilt. And I am enlightened. I know that I'm not supposed to be. But I just explained to y'all the whole thing, right? And I'm at an impasse. Because I really don't want to stop. I mean, and then uh, forgiveness, I have to forgive me. That's a challenge. And forgiveness for me and Marcus, he probably ain't going to forgive me. I don't, that, that don't matter to me. It's not my concern with what he thinks. You're going to treat me better. And I was not going to lie. You know, in that moment, it was like, no. It's, you know, I did not. You know, it's a challenge to follow my spirit. It was. Like, how do you follow the line when somebody's treating you unfairly like that to may remain good and stand your ground and not turn into a whole, you know, what do they call that stereotype at the same time? Because anybody could have whipped their phone out and be like, oh, she turning into a whole Karen. Yeah, because to pray was a challenge. Yes, spirit, yes, it was. Prayer was a challenge. Like, to be able to do that in a way where you don't compromise and sacrifice your own standards. But also know that it's like, it's like how much of it is really worth it. Like, how much of it is serving your own good? Like, serving my own good. Yeah. That's a thing, right, spirit? This one? Mm -mm. No, is that a thing? No, we done? We done? You want any more? Yes, okay. And what I'm doing is going to put my ability to serve it at challenge. Yeah, that's what I feel. Because I know it's not good for me. Look at that. Yeah, yeah, it's not good for me. something that I definitely need to pray about and that's a challenge because you have to be honest. I have to be honest. And really just, I mean, like, get to balance with that thing because the truth is that it's not, you know, was isolation. It's a conflict in my soul. Like a spirit, the old suit. Old soul. So it's from the past, past cycles, yeah, it's something that I've been carrying around. It is. Or maybe Marcus, yeah, is an old soul and he just got some old way of thinking. Maybe Marcus is isolated. I don't know, because he seemed like, I don't know, that was weird. I don't know what it was. I don't know why people act like that. Like, what is wrong with you to make you act like that? When you wouldn't just treat a person fairly simply for us. Like, especially when you have the ability to do something about it. That right there is like, what? Do you want this card? No. This one. Are we done with this deck? You want this top card? Spirit of Clarity. Top card. Conflict. Chaos. Anxiety. Yes, I do feel anxious. I'm upset. Yeah, self-worth. I did feel like my self-worth was being challenged. Like, how are you going to not treat me fairly? I did feel like that. And I felt like I needed to stand up for myself. I did. Like, even if I'm buying something that's not good for me, like, you're going to treat me fairly. It's for sale and it's priced. Like, you have it advertised. It's not my fault. Like, your whole... And we rang... He, I, he rang up multiple products and none of them rang up right. None of them.
So you mean to tell me that your whole wall is listed wrong? And you're not going to correct the price? You're not going to honor what you have listed for none of your products? Like, oh no, sir. Because I believe that if I was a different type of person or a different type of aesthetic, it wouldn't have been an issue. Because when a lady who was a different type of aesthetic came up and advised you to honor the policy, you went ahead and did exactly what you had the authority to do all along while you was lying to me saying that you couldn't change the price. And he did. He went right in the system and changed it. Yo, yeah, like I'm not worthy. Like that's a challenge. Are you freaking serious, dude? Get out of here, Marty, Marcus, with that trickery and tomfoolery. Yeah, because they got a fucked up perception of people, and that's a damn challenge, but we will be persevering through it. I mean, because at the end of the day, I mean, what we have to give is enough. Like, I am good enough. I'm worthy of you giving me the right price and treating me fairly. And I don't give a shit what they talk about after I walked out. Because I'm supposed to speak up and speak up for myself, balancing out this good and this bad. No, you cannot do that. And, and you see, I'm damn passionate about it. Yes. And I don't care how they figure out how we make it happen. Is it a mystery? Yes. It might be a mystery of why I'm here, how I'm here, what she doing here in this place or whatever. I don't give a shit what you think about. That's not my problem. Go sit down and heal. Get some wisdom, Marcus. Piss me off. Healing. Because how can you just not do what's fair and what's right? I don't know, y'all. I'm pissed. I had a whole fucking racist moment today. And then had to turn around and deal with this dude right back again because I'm doing something I ain't supposed to do. Because I'm doing this. A babe. That's why. The price you pay for bullshit. Real shit, yo. Real shit. I don't know if anybody else has been through some bullshit like this, if you feel this or not. It's just my read for myself. This ain't got nothing to do with the collective. This is all about me. So either you vibe with it or not. If you vibe, subscribe. You know what I mean? How would you feel? What would you do if you was in that situation? And I hit him with this. Thank you so much, Marcus. If you had been collaborative at the very onset, then we wouldn't have had to have this discussion. I appreciate your partnership. And walked out. How would you have handled that? Would you have flipped out? I'm just hopeful that no, I mean, if anybody had their phones out, that's how they had seen me going back and forth with this man about being treated fairly. And I held my ground and my tongue. And then I left out. He, I was upset. And you could hear the passion. But I didn't turn into what that stereotype is. That angry black female. No. No. But you will give me my respect, sir. Because I actually go into their, their gas station. And when I say I walk to the corner and go get me a coffee, that's the same gas station. But I don't deal with him in the evening. I usually go in the morning. Mm. I think we'll continue to go in the morning. And the manager lady, her and I, was cool. We joked about it. I said, maybe you need to stand there next to him because all of a sudden he now has the capability to override the system. It seems like your presence gave him some additional skill set and capabilities. So maybe you should shadow him so he understands how he can, what his abilities truly are. And she was like, oh, no, he got this. I said, okay. Well, I'm just saying because obviously he didn't know that he could do, you know, we have a concern. She was cool, though. She made him change that price. He was going to charge me an extra $10, y'all. 10 bucks. I'm not saying I was fussing about $2, $3. This inflation out here, an extra $10. That's two biggie bags from Wendy's. Quit playing. I can give me a whole 10-piece nuggets and some fries. I could feed somebody with $10. You're not just going to rob me over $10 over something I'm not supposed to have anyway. Oh, no. We, oh, no. No. That was not going to stand. And then I end up having to spend the freaking $10 anyway because i lost the freaking battery this part right here ain't that some shit 
Now, that's the real lesson on me for not being obedient and putting this mess down in the first place. But I chose to pray that price because we all get a chance to choose. That's what it is. It's freedom of choice. It is. And spirit, it, I mean, it's, it is. Is it not true that I have the right to choose? That's and that I do. And everybody in a process. And I paid the price to do what I did. In frustration and money. And I pray that it's a lesson learned for me. Because I'm talking about it. And I did my spread. And hopefully it's another you, another me out there that might vibe with this. So again, like I was trying to say. Like I was trying to wrap it up. Y'all know I get long winded with the ending and all that stuff. But if you vibe, subscribe. You know. And how the rest of that go. I love y'all. I love y'all so much. I love y'all just like y'all love me. Until the next time on Tears and We Throw, I say.